the tipping point that I just couldn't take it anymore was I was seeing all of us. I was seeing my own children. I was seeing myself. I was seeing my brother, my sister, meandering across this invisible line that only we as humans create called a border in the fundamental need of just trying to survive. This Syrian refugee story uh, came about uh, in part four of the Out of Eden Walk. The story began looking at the entrenched refugee situation before the, the mass exodus in, from Kobani. Paul Salopak, my colleague and, uh, and the official walker of the Out of Eden Walk project, was traversing through Turkey along the Syrian border when uh, tragic and historic events that have been taking place in Syria and Turkey began to unfold even, even more acutely in mid to late 2014. I got a uh, humanitarian news alert that said uh, uh, tens of thousands amassed at the uh, Syrian-Turkish border. There was actually almost nobody there when I first got there other than the, the Turkish military. And there truly were tens of thousands held back uh, behind a barbed wire fence. And they were fleeing the impending arrival of ISIS in their hometown. These were lawyers, doctors, farmers, nurses, teachers, and they're standing there with either nothing or a piece of luggage. The only thing that they could carry with them in that spontaneous need to get out or else. There were growing safety concerns when I was at the border, but I did uh, do everything I can to move regularly. Didn't stay in the same hotel every night. Would publish delayed. So there was a conscious effort of trying not to leave too many breadcrumbs where I was. I saw them coming across the border and they started to pass me and the children. And they were all crying. You had just arrived in a state of confusion in the middle of the night in a place you'd never been before and no way of knowing where you're going. What I'm really hoping that, that will come out after the many years of this Out of Eden Walk project is that we as a collective humanity can look at the retracing of our humanity's footsteps. We're repeating the madness that we've done to ourselves. We need to really now ask ourselves, where are we going? What is truly most important? Because this is our home, this is it. <laughs>